my so-called intermediate goal to combine claymations with philosophy and all the variety content with their own niche down, with all the quality content in their own consistent uh, upload schedules and with everything else in combustion, why that considers itself to be a far enough goal that's not too far away. So sometimes you'll notice that there. Are, this is probably going to be a move podcast episode uh, 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 akin to maybe even the human game console because it's going to be like the idea is, is to go back and forth between those two. But mostly upload uh, upload for human game console because there's like a 10,000 plus video go for that channel, that uh, podcast playlist. But Move can do whatever the hell it wants. But Move is not, not not necessarily about the human game discipline and self-improvement. But Move is about other things that are more sophisticated and self-caring kind of things. You know, um, It's not important to me, though. You, you'll know the difference over time. But th- why do I call it an intermediate goal to combine claymation with philosophy or variety content with my niche down? It's because um, so far I haven't really done that. I mean, I, have, I haven't, like, entirely combined the, the literal art of a stomach animation with a um, with every other figurative thing I do with the philosophy and ideas, which could be subconscious as well. So when I don't do claymations or when I don't necessarily see myself doing philosophy, then there's a bit of a, you know, again, a mixture that's not being put in place right away. However, there is a goal to combine the claymations with the, the right content. And there is a, there is a goal to combine the deep end philosophies, abstract or not with whatever I do with the sculptures and the animations. And I don't, I don't cap on that stuff. I, I, if I haven't done it before, it definitely does come in the horizons that, that way. I don't have to lie to you about, oh, I'll, I'll never really like truly know how to make the most out of my both hashes and talents, but the Ikigai wheel is beautiful and it's all right, okay? I know that there's the demands and finances for other things, but knowing how to at least combine passion and talent, that would be a dream come true already. Like, knowing how to combine passion and talent and not have to be hard on myself about whether I did something I wanted or whether I did something I had a good chance at, no longer, right? Because then they'll be, like, best of both worlds. But that takes time to figure out. I know I'm not going to just immediately force myself to do, like, stop motion and, uh, and, and on the on the blue, eye of the blue, just be, like, force myself to also think about these brilliant ideas that usually came subconsciously, usually came automatically conveniently, but not just suddenly come up with all these brilliant thinker ideas on top of my earthly clays and then go amalgam that over and over. That's going to take time. And, and I don't want to just uh, assume that, that that would imply it's quality content either. If, if it does its best in that regard and people still think it's crappy, that's on them. I mean, that's on me too, but like, <laughs> it's like a... So that would explain why I haven't exactly made that so far, why I still make claimations that are on their own merit based on entertainment features like anime, manga, or uh, video games, or... Even just original short films I made before that I still make sometimes that don't necessarily imply anything deep. And then vice versa, the philosophies are just on camera presence videos like these ones. And then the Vossi videos that could could also be deep documentaries, but there's a idea for a deep documentary movie in the season two episodes to have a... Yes, there is going to be a season two maybe, at, at least in the movie maybe, where it features claymation. And that either the whole episode or parts of the episode include claymation. And it's like a... or the movie or whatever. Season 2, etc. And then, move podcast and human game console having claymation will be something else that tired with it. But th- that's not impossible either, so... Anyways, that's all I got for you for the Mysterious Omnish Universal Essential, or even Sound Podcast, episode number 8. We're going to try to combine episode 9 or 10 of the move and human game console in one crossover self-channel thing. It couldn't, it couldn't be 8 this time, even though I landed that perfectly, because I didn't want to force myself to make a move podcast that that was already a part of a, a collaboration with human game console so but that might be one of the future ones when they line up again the next human game console podcast episode eight will instead be about something like a um a privacy and boundaries and uh other, other really deep things i think are, are considered also self-improvement but yeah this move podcast is more about uh self-care and uh exploration and all that they're both very similar but also very different in other ways you'll, you'll know when you see them like the human game console will be very specifically be about learning how to be a better person and learning how to accept the, the, the world that we're in. Move is still more of a taking care of things the way they are as a default, but also self-care can be considered a default, but not all the only thing you should be doing. And that's why we have the human game console podcast in that regard.